Hey guys, welcome to the next lesson in uh, fractions tutorial and today we're going to talk about how to add and subtract fractions and uh, the first example I have illustrated it using a uh, pizza example again so I have three quarters of a pizza three out of four minus one quarter of a pizza one out of four and we want to see what it equals now adding or subtracting fractions is pretty easy when you have the same denominator so you can see these two numbers are the same these two numbers are the same so when you are adding or subtracting fractions with the same denominator all you do is you keep the denominator the same so the bottom of the fraction is still 4 and you just minus the numbers at the top so 3 minus 1 is 2 and if you remember how to simplify fractions we can divide both numbers by 2 and we get 1 out of 2 so that's the answer so adding fractions would be the same if we have something like uh, 5 out of 7 plus 3 out of 7 uh, all you do is you keep the denominator the same so the bottom is still 7 5 plus 3 is 8 so the numerator is at the top okay now let's do a uh, <clears throat> example where the denominator is different so let's try and do uh, 1 out of 3 plus 2 out of 4 now this will require you to use the concept that we taught in the last lesson of equivalent fractions because we cannot add fractions when the denominators are different so let's write that down we can only add fractions add or subtract fractions when the denominator when the denominators are the same So in this case, 3 and 4 are not the same. But using our uh, knowledge in equivalent fractions, we can simply convert this first fraction of 1 out of 3 and make it equal to uh, 4 out of 12. Now, why did we do that? Because we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4 and our result fraction will be equal to 1 over 3 and if we do something similar to the second fraction if we multiply both the top and the bottom by 3 then we get 6 out of 12 so if 1 out of 3 is equal to 4 over 12 and 2 out of 4 is equal to 6 over 12 now that means we can add them so 4 1 out of 3 is uh, let me just rub this out so 1 out of 3 is 4 out of 12 plus 2 over 4 is 6 over 12 so now we have 10 over 12 so you can add fractions when the denominators are the same so why did we multiply by 4 well you can see that the, the denominator of the second fraction is 4 so if you multiply uh, 3 by 4 you're, you're uh, bound to get 12 and the same thing happens when you multiply 4 by 3 you're going to get 12 so pretty much all you do is you multiply both the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction 
by the denominator of the second fraction. So you multiply both of these by 4 and you multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3. And in that case you get 4 over, 4 over 12 plus 6 over 12 which is 10 over 12. Let's do another example. So 1 out of 7 plus 2 out of 8. Okay, so what do you do now? Well, let's make it... Let's make the denominators the same by getting the first fraction and multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the second fraction. So let's multiply them by 8. And the second fraction, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the first fraction, which is 7. And now we get 8 over 56 plus 14 over 56. And we get 22 over 56. So try some examples. Try these examples. Three out of seven plus two out of eight. Four out of eleven plus three out of five. And uh, seven over eight. Seven over nine minus two over three. Okay, try these examples and come back when you're finished. Okay, 3 over 7 plus 2 over 8. Well, let's make both the denominators 56. So we times both the top and the bottom by 8, times both by 7. So we're left with uh, 24 over 56 plus 14 over 56 so we end up with 38 over 56 and the second fraction sorry the second question we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 5 so you're left with 20 over 55 plus 15 over 55 equals 35 over 55. And the last one, we multiply both the top and the bottom by 3, both by 9. So we're left with 21 over 27 minus 18 over 27. And we're left with uh, 3 over 27. Now notice how all of these fractions can be simplified further. So we're just going to do that to follow the mathematics convention. So both 38 and 56, uh, we can see that they're both even numbers, so we're going to divide by 2. And that makes it uh, 19 over... Uh, 28 and the second one we're going to divide both by 5 so that's uh, 7 over 11 and the third one we're going to divide both by 3 so that's 1 over 9 okay thanks for watching the tutorial on how to add and subtract fractions see you next time